Hello, hello, hello! You are tuning into another episode of The Wonder Kim Show. Today's first topic is it finally time to worry about post June 1st cuts? Oh. <laughs> so, y'all already know where I'm going with this. I think most of the people that watch this channel should know where I'm going with this. I have religiously been on the fence about the offensive line. I've also said I wanted them to rebuild the offensive line with a whole bunch of young talent. Maybe keep, you know, keep Tyler in there who's still young and one of but build everything else back through the draft. And every time I said, what about this? What about that? What about another wide receiver? I was met with Nitro. Calm down. You got to remember, there's going to be post-June 1st cuts. It's June 1st. Today's the 24th. I haven't seen no additions. Is it time for me to worry? Because oh. I don't want to hear no excuses this year. You see, I, you got to understand where I'm coming from, right? And I always say this. I have called the deficiency of the O-line too many times for it not to be taken seriously. O-line has been Swiss cheese. You know what I'm saying? Holes in it. Running backs not finding holes. Pause. Not enough time to get the ball to receivers. Lamar having to make something out of nothing. The coordinator being unsure of calling certain calls, wondering if the O-line can actually hold up for certain calls. Like, bro, like, deep, like, listen, and I know, every single time I say this, oh, uh, Nitro, calm down, calm down, calm down. But every year, it's a problem. Every single year. And then you come back to, uh, you gotta be positive. You gotta have faith. And at what point do you scratch your eyeballs and say, bruh, enough is enough. You see, there's a lot to look forward to on the Ravens for this upcoming season. A lot. That's context for you. But there's a lot to worry about also. Because I know, and you guys should know, that if that O-line doesn't protect our QB, our season is over before it ever begun. And we've already seen that backups cannot carry the weight that these starters do. That's fact. Who is even our backup? Is it Josh? Like, who? <laughs> Who's our backup? We don't got no backup. It's Lamar nothing. So, y'all getting on me about me getting on the team, about them not having backup plans, is hilarious to me. Absolutely hilarious. And for everyone that's saying, oh, Nitro, you're always negative. Double oh! slaps for your Monday morning coffee. Because you have to understand where we're coming from. Don't you want to win a Super Bowl? Don't you want to be able to bring up all of those receipts that you've been holding we're not going to be able to do that if we do not show up. I was actually surprised that the Ravens didn't get um what's his name that went over to um the the Dolphins. Oh my God, uh the D tackle. I was surprised we didn't go back and get him. I was very surprised because he was one of the main people. I'm like, bro, we get him back. Um, next to Justin Matabike with the two young guys that could be in a, gr a great defensive line, and we didn't do it. We did not do it. At all. <laughs> and this is what I keep saying. Look, I'm not tripping. I'm merely telling the truth. The Ravens have to shore up holes on this team for us to succeed. My The biggest glaring hole, like I said at the beginning of, the, um, of, of this film or, or, or this video, is the O-line. It's just, it's just factual. Like... <laughs> When, when what's his name was talking about the O-line saying, oh, we have them all doing different things to see, you know, where their strengths and weaknesses are. Bro, you never want to hear that being said about your O-line. Like, yo, they're so bad, we don't even know what they're good at. <laughs> like, yo, we're just putting them somewhere hoping that, oh, they'll finally stick. And then, and then I heard people be like, oh, 
you're tripping out on mini camp. I'm like, bro, y'all was the same ones that was telling me not to trip about Alejandro Villanueva. Y'all the same ones. Nitro, you, he's going to be just fine. He, he, you don't know what you're talking about. Then when everything happens, y'all be like, oh, Nitro, you think you know everything. I don't even know. I said the same thing about Mike. Oh, Nitro, you think you know, you think you know everything. I talked about Ronnie Stanley's uh, 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 injury and his wellness, his ability to come back. Oh, Nitro, he'll be just fine. He had more than an offseason thing. And then when it didn't happen, y'all were sitting over there looking just at the screen just like I was. When he couldn't be on the field. So I don't want to hear no more of the excuses, bro. Like, I said this last year, like, I don't want to hear the excuses, right? Oh, like, like this upcoming year, like, if Bateman doesn't break out this year, if I see one person tell me that he just needs one more year, hold on, I got to wind this up. I got to wind the arm up, bro. I got to wind the arm up. Oh! I'm going off the screen, right hand side slap to the face, to the jaw, because I don't want to hear no excuses. I want results. Do you understand? I actually want to come to Baltimore for the parade and celebrate with fans laughing, joking, putting up pictures of Bengals not winning nothing. <laughs> The empty, empty trophy case and being like, you see, we got three, three beat zero. <laughs> do you see my eye? Like, that's what I want to do. But we're not going to be able to do any of those things if these things are not addressed. <sighs> it's not hard to ask for high level veteran play. It's not a hard ask. And I get you guys. Oh, then we have the excuse like, oh, well. Uh, uh, Lamar's making so much of the cap. That's why they can't do I don't want to hear that either. That's not an excuse. <laughs> they had enough time to build up a lot of this stuff when he was on what? His rookie deal. And they did not do so. So now they got to figure it out. I don't want to hear that. Oh, he got paid. That's why we can't do it. What? After you had four, five seasons to figure that out and you didn't figure that out, now he's getting paid. You're like, oh, it's because Lamar's making so much. And I've heard people say that. I've heard people say that. I've read people say that. They're still bringing up Lamar Jackson's contract. You just seen when I covered the other day with this guy coming out on Bleacher Report saying the Ravens will regret Lamar Jackson's uh 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 contract. And just Smith, like bro, but where's Lawrence? Where's regretting Lawrence's? Where's regretting Herbert's? Where are they regretting Burroughs? And Burroughs was hurt. Herbert was hurt after he got signed. After they got the money. Lamar, after he got his money, won an MVP and went to the AFC Championship game. But you don't hear nothing out of that. There's crickets. All you hear is silence. That's all you hear. Bruh, listen. All I'm saying is that I was told to calm down. I was told that there'd be a plethora of star players post-June 1st. It's the 24th. Should I be tripping out? Now. No, let me know. Been three weeks. I haven't seen no additions. I have not seen any uh, additions. None. None. And matter of fact, let me make sure I look because, uh, <laughs> like, bro, like I'm looking at this. I don't see no additions. I'm going through everything right now just to make sure. Just to make sure. Oh, and it was Calais Campbell. The, there it goes. That's the name I was trying to say. Calais Campbell. I wanted Calais Campbell for the D-line. I thought the Ravens would have brought him back. They didn't. And I was like, what? And he wasn't even expensive. Didn't make sense to me. But once again, the Ravens do what they feel they want to do. But yeah, I'm going through right now. I haven't seen any Baltimore additions. None. That means we're going to ride with the guys that we have. Most likely. Y'all are okay with that? Okay. 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 But just understand that if we're losing games because of these mitigating circumstances, you think you heard me trip out before? <laughs> My friends, you've heard nothing yet. I'm just saying. But what do you guys think? Are you worried now that it's the 24th of June and we haven't acquired any additional talent to add to the pool that we have? 
Or are you saying, no, we still need to be patient. July will come and we'll add somebody then. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> August will come and we'll add somebody then. You know what I'm saying? Let me know what you think and what side of the fence you're on during this conversation, all right? In the comment section, please, all right? But as always, <gasps> that's episode of the Wonderkind Show! <laughs> Thank you for watching. Y'all know we get down, we have fun, and we laugh. But everything we talk about rooted in what? Facts and truth. Please do remember, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. You know I love the comments. If you haven't done so already, check out the One Can Show's Patreon. Yes, three tiers of content goodness waiting for your consumption. Give it a look, give it a try. Let me know what you think. And if you would like to donate to this channel, help out with equipment and such stuff like that, right here, bottom of the screen, QR code. QR code is to a cash app. Cash is located in the description of every video that we do. Name of it is Money Sign. The Wonder King Show. Super easy. Also, Please do remember, guys, we're shooting for 10,000 subscribers. Please, if you're watching, like, subscribe, please. You know what I'm saying? That's the mark we're at, we're going for right now. We're at 7,100 and I believe 35 subscribers. We're almost to the 10,000 mark. Let's get that number up. Tell your friends, dog, cats, aunties, uncles, cousins, nephews, nieces about the show and let's grow it the right way. But once again, this is the Wonderkin Show. This is your host, Hunter, signing off. And as always, you know my slogan. <gasps> Peace. <laughs> and I am out of here. Huh? Yeah! Finish him, Daddy. Oh!